Yeah, like, I don't have any words for this. <laughs> Olivia gave me her wool socks, but I don't think I'm gonna get wet. Kayaking's pretty easy. Oh, you know I love this so much. I am so excited. I have a bad problem. I am so addicted to The Sims, it's so bad. Um, I'm playing it right now. I always go through phases though, where like I don't play it for months. Then it's like, I play it every night. <laughs> uh, unemployment is so hard. But I, last time you guys saw me, I flooded my backyard. Uh, it's been several hours, I still gotta check it because it's getting super, super close to freezing tonight. <sighs> I don't want to look. I really hope the ground soaked it up. I gotta look. Um, let me see. Yeah, my extra fuzzy pants. Okay, let me get these on before I can brace myself. I feel like I'm extra nasally, but I was crying earlier. I just had one of those days where it was like so much bad news and this and that. And so then at the end, like a really tiny thing just triggered me. Okay. Let me see. Hmm. Oh, it's cold, but it's not windy. Oh my gosh, I don't think I see a puddle. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. Look at that. Now I got to unscrew this. Okay, then take this. Ugh, ugh, there's kind of wet still. Cap that. Cap that real good. Uh, okay. Whew. Let me get this out of here. Okay. Whew. I'm just so grateful that somebody was looking out for me there because I would have cost my mom so much money. Rushing out the door, it is time. <sighs> Trying to get my zipper up. It is time for me to get a haircut and the temperature is very, very, very cold. Like it's like, 34 degrees, maybe it's now 35 because the sun's up. But I don't know what I want to do because I need to hack off these dry process ends, but I'm kind of relying on having blonder hair for contrast. My suit is brown. My hair cannot match my suit. Ah, not saying that I have a brown hair. Um, I prefer a honey blonde, you know, if you're gonna put a term on it. I didn't want to talk before because so many people were around, but now I have this place to myself. And now this is just the deep conditioning treatment and they've changed some things. Like I have a hot towel to retain the moisture. So it's, it's been a few hours, <laughs> but I'm pulling through. Luckily, this is like the main thing that I have to do today. Done. It was a six hour appointment because they tried a new formula on my hair that I've I'd never done it before. And so they needed to test a strand and it turned out so great. I'm obsessed with it. And the reasons why I love this is because they used a lightener that doesn't contain bleach. And so it's, you know, like when you bleach your hair, not only does it like strip so much of the cuticle, unlike what this product does, but let's face it, like you bleach your hair to remove the pigmentation to then add pigmentation and try to make it look realistic. But with this, it's almost like when you take a picture and then you use the tools to like enhance certain parts about it, like that's what this is. So it's taking it and then maybe changing the shade or the brilliance of something. And I love it. So now we brought the cool tones back. We have a little bit higher up in the blonde area. And this is great because I don't know if I've talked about this, but my suit is brown and it was starting to match my hair. I'm thinking that looks so matronly, like 
brown and like bleeding into my pants, like my blazer and my skirt. I, I couldn't have that. So um, I think I'm just rambling and talking fast because I've just been so quiet, so obedient in my chair for six hours and now it's like, ah! But I am, again, in love. Do you guys see red or like copper tones? I mean, I always knew like I was a little kinky like a redhead. <laughs> I just got done wrapping up my 30 day stretch challenge and uh, you guys were gonna have to watch the video to see how it goes. I did like a challenge thing at the end to see my results and you can see like that's so high up. It looks taller than my Christmas tree, but um, somebody's coming over tonight and so I'm like in this limbo where it's like I wanna film but I know I'm gonna be cut short and I was wanting to do like a kind of a sit down talk video and I just, I don't know how I'm supposed to be serious with like in the back of my mind, like, the, the, you know, the doorbell's gonna ring at any second. And I feel like I can't like do half of it and then get back into the mood later and just film, continue it. I don't know, I mean, maybe I'm just not a pro YouTuber yet, but I, I can't do that. So I'm like in this weird limbo and it's like, um, I got my hair done. Like I look nice, I wanna film. <laughs> Seven minutes, you got double bedroom, man. I still got scores to settle, man. I crept down the block, made a right. Now I hit the FBO with duffels in my hands. I did half a sand, 13 hours till I land. Just got done starting an Alexis Ren challenge and I'm super excited because she always gives me great results. These videos usually do pretty well because people trust her and it feels nice to be skimpy again. Like I just, I've, you know, I work out. So I feel like because this is the best I've ever felt and looked, I want to take advantage. And this is like, I don't know, but it's funny because like, I'm really trying also to focus on looking real in the video. So sometimes I'm like this and you like see my roles. And to me, that's pretty important because some people who responded to the last video, they just felt like I was perfect or they just, they seemed insecure when they had no reason to be and that made me feel bad. So yeah, you know, it's fun to like flex and pose and make sure you're uploading the best shot of you. It's still like, I gotta keep you in the scope of reality when it comes to my YouTube channel because I'm better than that, you know? Ah, I gotta vlog, I gotta vlog this because this is too much fun. Look, like all this stuff I have, so we got a package from my aunt, you know, and um, usually we don't have like a huge gift exchange program we do over the holidays because it's kind of like, you know, we give your kid $20 and you give me $20 and it's like, <laughs> you know, like, you know, so and like, I don't know, like, this is so nice of them to do this little splurge. Okay, so they sent all of this food, like, look at, like, look, oh my gosh. So this is like what it is, it's like steak or, no, let me read it, let me. So it's like burgers, steaks, crabs, like bacon wrapped filet, like, oh, you know I love this so much. I am so excited. I've never had anything from this company, but I've also never had meat sent to me. So this is my first experience. Ooh, ooh, look at it all. Oh, and there's more too. There's like this one and this one. So I, I really hope that I have room in my freezer. I'll make room in my freezer for this. <laughs> I am so annoyed. I know you just saw me super happy with boxes of meat and I just need to start thinking about that. Like maybe I need to go back into my freezer and just look at all the steak and stuff I have. But I tried to film an ASMR video and you know, I used to be, you know, this is my old school way. Like you doing iMovie, filming directly into it from my like desktop camera. I was like, not the best quality, but if you have good lighting, you're good. And then I plugged this in. And so I did all that and iMovie detects this, but in order for it to actually pick up my frequency, it has to do, like I have to be doing a voice over. I can't just be recording right then and there and have it pick up. I know I dropped this once, but to me it seems like iMovie is where it's wrong but it's it's getting dark out and I it's not very the ring light is good but I, I kind of like the natural light so I don't know what to do because I've wasted so much time on this I have daylight to burn like I gotta go run an errand and then do a chore so uh, I don't know I just kind of want to cry but I think it's because I'm moody so I'm just going to 
you know, relax, step away, and then review the footage when I'm in a better mood and see, like, what am I re-recording? Like, what am I doing? Today we're doing something a little different, something I didn't think we were going to be ever do. Um, we are going to White Rock Lake. Apparently they have a kayaking event. Olivia has some blow-up kayaks, but we haven't done that before, so we might end up renting. Um, my mom panicked, like, so, like, I'm, like, decked out. Olivia gave me her wool socks, but I don't think I'm going to get wet. Kayaking's pretty easy, but, um, sometimes initially, like, you can get your feet wet, so Olivia said she'd push me out, because I am a wimp when it comes getting cold. Not out um, of the kayak. <laughs> luckily, like, I can swim well, like, if something happens and all that. Um, but we're going to go pick up Olivia's little sister and she's in town so you know it's always fun like when you're in town you do all these kinds of activities so we're gonna have like a little girly bond together I think we we're gonna try to catch the sunset but we don't really know we're really just trying to do it for like the live music portion that's supposed to be going on okay I think I might get hot in the car <laughs> oh sorry sorry yeah. check out my fanny pack <laughs> so it ended up getting a little <laughs> <laughs> Olivia looks so annoyed because she wanted us to put her phones away and I'm like, but I want to vlog. I have to update you guys. So it ended up taking a little bit of time to get here and not a lot of people are out on the water. And so it's just, it's a little discouraging because it's, it's cold and it's dark. And we forgot some of our main source of light to set it up. So we decided it'd be much more fun to do a day trip doing this. And so now we're just headed to where the live music is via car. And Cassie says hi. Hi. Personally, that's not a good color on like me. This one? Yeah, like those wash me out, like silvers and gold. So I think I would go towards the pink, maybe the little more maroon touch that's in the back. But not, not necessarily on you, just like in general. Oh, okay. Well, I really like that one. So dark. Now we are on Turtle Creek Lane, and we're trying to find the Whoville themed house. Um, this girl, she used to go to our school, then she switched schools, but like, she's still been in the loop. Like, I follow her on Instagram, I keep up with her, she does music, but her mom's like an interior designer, and we're trying to find the Whoville house. Chocolate? No. Gingerbread. Oh. Chocolate. Gingerbread. And whipped cream. And mochi. And like marshmallow stuff. Like oh, yeah. Marshmallow cream. Yeah. And then you just got like the regular tart baby toppings. And then I just did a mixture. I like to have things sweet like caramel, but then I also like to mix like a fruity sorbet. Ooh, my plans are okay. <laughs> And then you can see like I love the fish eggs. I love anything that's like tart and sour and bitter. Mm. But I wish they had cotton candy. Yeah, like I don't have any words for this. So I did a challenge for Shelby's YouTube channel and then we went to Dollar Tree. Look at this stuff I got, like salted peanuts. I really hope they're the good kind because I, you know, have you ever been into a peanut and it's like, just like the most god awful taste? Like I really hope these are good ones, but I think I'm gonna snack on these before dinner. And then sunflower seeds, of course. Okay, for a second, I thought these were open. No good, they're still sealed. Just, just like the original, I love this stuff. And then the, um, I found these, Shelby had them before and she said they were good, so I got those. I think it's just like a healthy blend to snack on because I need to just continue eating. I feel like my energy level is a little bit low and so I'm gonna be good about like my vitamins, but I also gotta be good about food. And then the reason I went there was mom needed some of these. She didn't tell me, but it looked like she did. And I thought this would just be a nice treat to, um, be responsible and replenish her uh, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. And then I was trying to look for just the green scrubbers 
They had the ones that were regular, but they were kind of soft, like worn down. I was thinking, no, we need like friction. So these are a little annoying because they have the sponge where you're like wringing them out. Maybe they'll get a little too grimy, but figured since they're so cheap, I was just going to grab those and be good. So I need to take this off because I don't want this dye in my face. Yeah, 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 yeah.